Hey everybody and welcome back. Before we get started today, I do want to show you real quick why I bought like 2,000 pansy seeds for next year. Look at these things. It is literally the week before Christmas and these guys look good as gold. They're just like no big deal, Frost. What is that? <laughs> you can see the mums. Mums didn't last very long. They've been dead for about a month, but man, these pansies, they will live through anything. So let's get started. We're back inside now. I try to film outside as often as I can, but it is just so cold and my body is not used to it yet. So we'll be inside for a little bit. 2022 on our homestead is gonna be the year of the garden. We're starting way more seeds and we're starting them way earlier than we ever have before. So I need to reinvest in my gardening supplies to make sure we have enough stuff. And one of the things that I was short on are seed starting trays. In years past, I would always just get the cheapo, uh, like Jiffy brand from big box stores or from our local greenhouse. And those are nice and cheap, but the problem is the quality just isn't there. So they won't last more than maybe two seasons. We would always bust holes in them or they would bow and just crack in half. Um, we're pretty rough on our seed starting trays. Um, since we start our seeds indoors early, we have to harden off the plants before we can plant them outside. So we're constantly moving stuff in and out, um, moving it to the greenhouse, moving it back in whenever we get a freak snowstorm in the early spring. Indiana weather, there's no predicting it. So that almost always happens. So I started looking for something that's higher quality and as I was researching I kept seeing the name Bootstrap Farmer coming up over and over and over again as people were recommending them as very high quality, very sturdy trays. So I looked them up and I'm not gonna lie, I was a little shocked at the sticker. Um, $100 for a 10 pack of trays and inserts was not a number I was expecting to see. Now of course I know that it's an investment and you know higher quality is gonna have a higher cost but I still wasn't expecting to drop $100 on some trays for me to start my seeds. But because they were so highly rated, I did place an order with Bootstrap Farmer, but I wanted to see if there were any alternatives that were a little bit cheaper, and I came across greenhousemegastore.com. What sold me with Greenhouse Megastore was on their website. They have this video of two men picking up another man in one of their mega heavy duty trays. So obviously if their trays are capable of withholding the weight of a full grown man, they have to be pretty high quality. So I placed an order with both companies and I received those. So we are going to open those up and compare each one. Um, I ordered trays and inserts from both and a couple of other extra things as well. I'll show you, but, um, so we'll go over all the stats and we'll see which one's better. So for a visual comparison, this is, um, what I used to buy, and I actually bought this on clearance at Dollar General. Um, this is a $5 little mini greenhouse pack. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys what this one looks like as I bend it. So this is Jiffy brand. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see where it says Jiffy on the clear part there. So this is a super, super cheapy one. So this is how they bend um, when you push the corner. It smushes in really easy. This is what I've been using for several years. I think this is what most of us start off with. Um, yeah. Here's cheapy, cheapy quality, um, just for comparison. So we'll start off with the Bootstrap Farmer ones. So for these, I want to test these out for longevity as well. So to keep them straight, I didn't know what the bottoms would look like if they were going to look super similar. So for the Bootstrap Farmer, I bought white. Um, and then the greenhouse mega store trays are black. So um, these are white. I believe they come in different colors as well though. One thing I noticed with the bootstrap farmers is they come kind of dirty. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Yeah. There's like little black, uh, little specks. I, don't, I think it's just little pieces of plastic from the manufacturing. Um, and then there's like this green tape <laughs> all over everything. Um, which I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna rinse these off anyways before I use them. So right off the bat, these feel so much heavier compared to the cheapies, like five times heavier. <laughs> um, and they they feel sturdy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bend it to compare. So it's got a little bit of wiggle room there. Um, but yeah, definitely really sturdy, really thick on the sides too, which is nice. Um, it's got these little channels on the bottom here. Yeah, these are really nice. Ooh, I will, um, I'll grab my scale and we'll weigh them too. We'll see which one's heavier. The cheapy 
it weighs uh, 4.05 ounces. And next we'll weigh the Bootstrap Farmer at 13.7 ounces. These are classified as extra strength. It is $54.99 for a 10 pack of these, just the trays. The thickness is 1.8 to 2 millimeters and these have a two year warranty. And I saw on their website, um, somebody asked if they were made in the USA and they said currently it's mixed, but they're eventually gonna be switching over to 100% made in the USA. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, the sides feel really thick. Um, if I push on the corners of these, there's no way I'm gonna be able to push that in. Um, oh, look. Right here, I got one that was made in China. So they must not have switched yet to 100% USA. That is a ding for me because Greenhouse Megastore is made in the USA. And for comparison, I'm going to put a gallon of water in this cheapie and we will compare the others. <laughs> yep, that did not go very well. Okay, so that's the cheapie. So now I'm going to put a gallon in this for comparison. Ooh, oh yeah, that's nice. That doesn't feel like it's about to buckle at all. Yeah, these are really nice. I'm really excited to have these. I also wanna show you guys the inserts that I bought. So these are from Bootstrap Farmer. Um, to compare, these are the cheap jiffies. Um, as you can see, they're very, very thin. Um, they are serrated, so you can separate them out. Um, but yeah, very, very flimsy. Um, the Bootstrap Farmer ones. This first pack is a 50 cell tray. Um, I bought the five pack and it was $29.99. Um, of note, this one was also made in China. So right off the bat, this one's way sturdier. You can't hardly crush the different cells, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, this is really nice. Um, the only thing, um, sometimes it's nice to have the serrations, so in case you plant like a row of onions, you need to separate them from your tomatoes to put them outside or something. But you know, it's fine, it's not a big deal. Um, yeah, these are really nice quality. I'm really happy with these. So they'll go. Yeah, they fit really nice. This is really nice quality stuff. Um, I see why they were so expensive. This is nice. And then from Bootstrap Farmer, I also bought one more tray, which is the 128 cell tray. Uh, this was $6.49. And again, really nice quality. Um, this one is just a little bit flimsier than the last one. I bought this one because I figured I could start my seeds here first and then transplant them to the bigger ones later as they grow. But yeah, really happy with Bootstrap Farmer so far. Okay, so up next we're going to talk about the Greenhouse Mega Store. So this is their 1020 tray. This is the mega heavy duty version. Um, I think they had lesser um, heavy duty versions. So this was the strongest that they offer. These are $34.20 for a 10 pack, which is what I ordered. So to compare that to Bootstrap Farmers, Bootstrap Farmers for a 10 pack was $54.99, so $20 difference. Um, right off the back, first impressions, this is really sturdy as well. Um, very similar to the Bootstrap Farmers. One good thing, uh, made in the USA. So that's a point for them. Um, it feels really thick. Let's do the gallon jug test. Yeah, that feels very similar to the Bootstrap Farmers. It doesn't feel like it's gonna bend at all. Um, maybe slightly, slightly less rigid. Um, but yeah, that's I think that's great quality. So to do a quick rundown on Greenhouse Megastore, these are 0.88 inch gauge thickness. They also offer a two year warranty and then they have free shipping for orders over $99. Um, yeah, these trays are really nice though. I'm, I'm really happy with the quality of these. Again, 
Um, yeah, there's no way I'd be able to push in that corner. Yeah, guys, um, this is $2 cheaper than the Bootstrap Farmer. And honestly, I think they are almost the exact same. Let's weigh this one. Um, the Greenhouse Mega Store is 14.25 ounces. So yeah, the Greenhouse Mega Store weighs more as well. Um, yeah, cheaper, made in the USA, same quality. Greenhouse Mega Store wins this one. So let's go over the inserts. Um, I bought several different types from Greenhouse Megastore. I bought 10 packs of each. So these are gonna be the six cell per pack. Um, right off the bat, you can see that there's our serrated, which is a plus for me. So these, I believe, are the number 806 traditional inserts. Um, these are definitely lightweight. Um, you can tell you can squish them. Um, they're pretty flimsy. Um, but they were also cheaper for a 10 pack. They were $7.60, so, which I should have anticipated that these are gonna be a little bit lighter quality, but um, you know, it's okay. So I also bought number 1203 inserts, which are three per pack. And again, they're serrated, um, lightweight, um, but again, a 10 pack for $7.60. And then the other size that I got um, this number is 3601. This is a 36 open pack. So they're just, uh, so each one of these are serrated, um, each individual one. And these were the same price, a 10 pack for $7.60. And again, they're pretty light. And I did just double check the website and they do not offer a heavy duty version of their inserts. This is the only style that they have. Um, they just have different numbers of cells. So the Bootstrap Farmer inserts were way more heavy duty than the ones that I got um, at the Mega Store. So I'm gonna see if we can mix and match real quick. So here's the Mega Store tray, and this is a Bootstrap Farmer insert. Oh yeah, those fit. Those fit perfect, actually. Maybe there's a little bit of wiggle room, but yeah, that works. Let's try the other ones. back and forth but I think that would work yeah so if you were wanting to get cheaper trays at the greenhouse mega store and then get the heavier duty inserts from bootstrap farmer um, you can mix and match so that's an option for you so since they posted that video on their website in the name of science I did have to try it myself so um, as you can see in the thumbnail I did try standing on these trays I did it with both companies I do not recommend it. <laughs> um, I was able to stand in both of them at least once, so it was not fake news. Um, their video, it was accurate. But for me getting on and off of them multiple times to try to get a decent thumbnail picture, I did end up cracking one of each of the trays. So I don't recommend you try that at home, um, but I did it for you guys in the name of science. One of the other things I bought was some um, greenhouse film. Um, it ended up being $64 there, which is a little bit pricier than Amazon, um, but it seemed like it was higher quality. So we'll see how that works. Um, I'm gonna try to fix our greenhouse with it. Um, just the roof needs replaced. So we're gonna try that, see if it's a cheaper way to fix it. And the last thing I bought there were these containers that I'm going to plant flowers in. So these are called the Elite Nursery Containers 600 series. And, oh, what the heck? <laughs> okay, so this is what they're supposed to look like. Um, but this one, the hole punch got a little excited, I think. <laughs> Let's see if any more are like that. No, I don't think so. I think that was the only one. Well, that's all right. It'll work. It's just a little extra drainage, I guess. Um, but yeah, so my plan is to just set these around my garden area and put like marigolds and zinnias and stuff just to pretty it up a little bit. Um, but these were pretty cheap. So I bought 10 of these and they were $17.50. So $1.75 each. Um, not too bad. Um, they're not soup. They're not heavy duty. Um, I don't think they were intended to be heavy duty. I think these are more for like um, a greenhouse to sell stuff out of. So um, they're light duty, but um, that's totally fine just for some flowers. And these, if you're wondering um, the size, these are 1.72 gallons or 
6.52 liters. So that is that size, the number 600. That is the size for reference compared to my head. So thank you guys for watching this far into the video. As a reward, I'm going to give all of you dedicated viewers a sneak peek at the newest member of our homestead. Let me go grab him. So helping me to sign off today is Mr. Fizz Gig, who is the newest member of our homestead, who I just woke up and he's not very happy about it. The name Fizz Gig, you 80s children are going to recognize as a reference to the movie The Dark Crystal. And he is very cute, but um, it's been seven years since we've had a puppy on the homestead and I forgot how destructive they are. <laughs> but he makes up for it with fluff and cuteness. So you guys will be seeing more of him in future videos. Um, if you like this video today, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see other videos like this in the future, be sure to subscribe to our channel. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.